Hi everyone, welcome to the festival playlist of series 23 in the winter. As usually, I'm gonna show you the weekly Forzaton challenge and also the cars I've been using in the championships. So, first of all, let's go to the Forzaton shop. What do we have here? A 2010 Roseon Q1 and also a Napier. You can actually use that car uh, in several events so if you have the points you should definitely get that one if you don't want gold feet you need to get those boots and if you look want to look like john lennon you can have those shades if you want so let's have a look at the forzaton itself we need to own and drive the 1967 chevy we need to have 15 awesome speed skills 125,000 skill score that's combined and also a total of nine stars and drift zones so let's have a look i am in the car i'm at the highway now it is a drift tune but you can actually drive with it just don't steer too much because then you will definitely be sliding so basically just drive up and down till you have those 15 awesome it's not ultimate so it doesn't really matter the car is fast enough to get it there you go, there were already a few awesomes, uh, so that's basically it. Then what do you need? You need 125,000 skill score. You can basically do that wherever you want. Um, normally I say you can put perk points on a car, but to be honest, it's not worth doing that. If you want to skill thingies score, just go to here, just knock yourself out. It's combined, so if you <coughs> lose it or whatever, it doesn't really matter. You don't need to put much effort in this one. Then the last one is 9 stars in total on a drift zone. The drift zone is a very easy one, especially with this car. Uh, we will go to the festival playlists. Here you have this drift zone. I'll go here. There you go. You can just put the car um, in third gear, tap the handbrake, just play a little bit of throttle, there you go, the car basically does its own thing. If you did it right then you can just go ahead and you will do it again like this, just keep it in third gear, tap the handbrake, let it slide. You can basically go full throttle in third gear. There you go. That's it for the Fortathon. Very easy. Now let's have a look at the trial. I'll go to the map. That's always easier. Now the trial. That's actually not a bad one. I'll go to there for once. Normally I just pick the cars. But I'll show you why. So here at the trial, what car can you take? You see several cars. Um, well, I see two cars that are very good. Basically, you have the Ferrari F50 is very good in dirt, snow. The funny thing is, I actually used my Alpha. I'm not sure why it's not in the list, because I did use it. Uh, maybe it's a little bug. I have no clue now. So let's go to the Alpha. I actually took the Stradale. So for some reason, uh, actually this one. That's the car I took in the trial and I had no problems with it. Now, why it's not showing up? Or oh, maybe I missed it, but... It is not in this list but if you can get the alpha stradale you definitely should take that also the this is very weird something is uh, wrong with the trial because the other option that i got for the trial is also a very good option and that's basically this one the ferrari it depends on what car that you have but they are both very very good 
Where are you, Ferrari? Ah, oh, there you go. That's actually... This one. The hashtag 24 Ferrari Spa. Also a very good car. Now, the problem is, they are very expensive. This one is, well, by far the cheapest one. Um, this one is the better Ferrari, but you can take this one. But if you can, for some reason, take this one. No problems at all at the trial. Then let's go to the playgrounds. The playgrounds is a retro rally. Well, it's. I have got a feeling that uh, we'll be doing a lot of same uh, this week. Don't know why. Where are you, retro rally? I will get there. Give me a second. Retro rally. There you go. Now, you do have the barn finds. Uh, it's also a good car. You can take this one, but the... Renault 5 Turbo, or even this one, is basically the best to use that. This one is the fastest, this one is a cool one. If you don't have this one, if you missed it in a season, you can always take this one. Now, I forgot to say what you can win from the trial. From the trial, you can win the awesome Martin Vulcan Force Edition. And from the playgrounds, you can win the Ford Superfan 3. No new car, so I don't need to show it. Um, the showcase, well, it's again with the Taxi HS. It's actually not tuned bad, so it should be okay. I didn't have problems with it. Then here, the Corolla Express. Let's have a look what we need here. B700 Modern Rally. Now, what do we use for that? Um, you just... Well, I actually just took the car from uh, last week. That's why I'm I'm a little bit uh, it's a little bit weird. The retro rally. There you go. Oh no 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 no. Modern Rally, sorry, that's uh, I thought it was something not right. The Modern Rally, excuse me for that. It feels like I didn't make a video for a long time on Forza. Don't ask me why, I didn't play it for a while because of the updates. That wasn't so, e uh, not, not so cool. Well, basically I took the 2005 Impreza. I took it a few seasons ago and the car is just a good car to actually win that. Now, we do win a new car, completely new car here. I'll show you. It's this one here. It's the Toyota Corolla SR5. I'll quickly show it in free roll. There you go. This is a complete new car in the game. Need to check out what it can do. Um, but that's for tomorrow or maybe later on tonight. Now let's go to the next one. Mr. Snow. We need A800 Super Saloons. It's cross country and now you're gonna say, well, seriously, you're gonna take that car? Uh, yes, I, took, I actually took that car and that was very stable. It is the same tune as last week or the week before. I can't remember when it was. But I took the 2015 Audi RS6 Avar. Very funny that I take that. But it's even with the same tune as last time. You see that it's a little bit stiff, the suspension. But I had no problems winning it. It's very fast car and it's actually still grippy and good handling even in the snow. Uh, with just normal tires. Now what can we win from that? The Alpha Go... The, oh, I can't, I can't pronounce it at the moment. It's so hot in here. It's this one. The Alfa Romeo, the 2016 Forza Edition. Very beautiful car, by the way. 
Now let's go to the next one. Pledging. We need the A800 country United States. It is street scene. Now the first car that comes up is of course. Maybe people already know or can guess. Anyone? No. I'll show you. I'll go to the country. It's a Shelby. I'll put my favorites on. So let's go to the United States. Now you can take the bone wanker. Yeah, I call it bone wanker. Um, basically, you can take that one and you can make 50 mistakes and still win it. So if you have that, knock yourself out. This one is, of course, a very, very good car. It's an expensive one if you don't have it. But this is the one that I would recommend at first place. If you don't have the money, you can always take this one. This is only 40,000. You can easily win with that car. Uh, it's a car from also last week or something, I think, or the week before. So basically, you have a lot of choice in this one. This one is like the OP band car. When you can make 50 mistakes. This is the OP not banned expensive car. This is the Shebas also easy to win car. This is for example a fun car. This is actually a really funny car to drive. This one. You can basically take whatever you want. Um, I used the Daytona. The Mustang. I even used the Viper. So basically it's how much money you have or if you have a rare car or not. So that's basically whatever you want. But this one or this one. So it's 40,000 or 8 million. Now what can we win from that? The Chevy Nova 69 Forza Edition. Now let's go have a look at the PR stunts. The monthly rivals, that's the same, uh, once in a month, uh, also online adventure, you just need to qualify once in a month. Now let's have a look. PR stunts. I'll start with this one, for example. You can start here. Now, I see it a few times that people ask, like, uh, if you don't have the Ferrari, uh, what car can you take? Well, basically, that's what the car that I actually always used, and that's this one. But you can also take the Ferrari, you know which one it is. But for people that are new in the game and they don't have it, you can always take the Mosler. So this car, or if you don't have it, just take the Mosler. And to be honest, I always liked that Mosler, and I still do. So we need to have a certain speed here. I'll put this on. Uh, there's a dirt tune on it, so the car is pretty okay. It's a back to eight. It's well, as you can see, the acceleration is insane on this car, same as that Ferrari. So. You don't need to put a lot of effort actually in it. You can also come from the other side if you want. Uh, you can actually start in the snow itself. Then here the jump. Also very easy with the muzzle because uh, it has active arrow. What means you can actually break. Make the nose go in a certain angle and then you can just keep sliding on your nose. And that's like this. There you go. But you can see the Mosler is actually a very, very easy car for uh, PR stunts. And then this one. There you go. You can also do it from both sides. The car is fast enough. I started from the right side. Yeah, you can even make a mistake. It doesn't really matter. You can easily do it with this car. Um, I had no problems doing piastons with this car. 
It's a very, very good car. So basically, that's it. Here at 50%, we have a Toyota Celica from 74, and at 80, the Toyota Toronto. Um, here at 80%, we have the Toyota Supra 92. So it's a little bit of a Toyota week this week, because we also win that Toyota Corolla SR5. Now, that's basically it for this. Um, I'll be streaming tonight, since we finally get a decent update. I'll quickly get my car out, the new one, there we go, since the sun is shining and I need to make a nice thumbnail for the video. So that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed the video and that the cars are easy to use and that you can actually win everything with my choices. I'll be streaming tonight on Twitch, hopefully I'll see everyone there and we can have some fun and also... Well basically that's it. Just. Come by at my Twitch, it's Valister, and we will be driving the festival playlist and having fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye bye.